Polo Grounds, New York. Sugar Ray Robinson enters the ring to try to win back the world's middleweight title he lost just 64 nights before in London to England's Randy Turpin. New York, 12th of September, 1951. And it's Randy Turpin, the champion in the black trunks, Sugar Ray Robinson in white. Immediately we can see Robinson, a very smooth boxer. He's got lightning fast reflexes. Wonderful footwork, jabbing away. The referee is Ruby Goldstein tonight. Turpin tries to go for a left hook. Both boys tangle inside and punch away on the inside. Turpin's head looks dangerously close to Robinson's face there. The referee breaks them up. There's that left jab from Turpin. That was the weapon that won the fight for him two months ago in London. There's the end of the first round. We come out for the second round now. Robinson jabbing with his left hand. Turpin has got a very awkward stance. He tends to pull away from punches and leap inside with left hooks. See Robinson moving outside him, manoeuvring for shots, throws a right and a left. And Turpin pulls his head away from both punches. Another left hook and right hand from Robinson. Both felt to connect with Turpin. Robinson snaking out the left jab. Turpin's not doing a great deal of work early on in the fight. He's the younger man by seven years. Perhaps he's hoping that Robinson will tire himself out. Robinson, of course, 30 years old. He's had 132 fights and only lost twice. Robinson's definitely going for it tonight, throwing those left hooks at Turpin. And a right hand staggers Turpin, his knees dip, he's holding on. It's the first time Robinson's hurt him in two fights. The referee breaks them up, Turpin looks all right. Another right hand from Robinson just on the bell to end the second round. Here we can see Robinson's right hand punch catches Turpin just behind the ear and Turpin's knees buckle. It's the third round now. Turpin's been hurt. He's trying to throw that left jab. He's still not doing a great deal of work. Robinson's manoeuvring around the ring, jabbing with that smooth left jab of his. Ducking under Turpin's punches. Again, Turpin flurries when they're at close quarters. And Robinson comes back with another superb right hand. Just clips Turpin, and Turpin's on the ropes, hurt again. Turpin nods at Robinson. Tries the right hand in the third round. Sugar Ray Robinson is a quicker puncher, as you can see. He's flurrying to Turpin's body. 
Now the start of the fourth round, this 15 round championship contest. That smooth left jab of Sugar Ray Robinson's licking out. He's catching Turpin with it, keeping Turpin off balance. He tries a wild right uppercut, doesn't land properly. Robinson is having the better of these early exchanges. Turpin tries two wild punches that miss. Robinson just glides away from them. Fantastic footwork of his. Now we're into round five. It's a close fight. Robinson seems to be on top. Turpin needs to get to work a lot harder. He's not really punching with his left jab like he did last time. He's relying more on heavy punches, trying to stop Robinson with those hooks. All right, step back. That right hand just missed as Turpin pulls his head away in that unusual way of his. Both men throwing punches. Robinson misses wildly there as Turpin gets away from those punches. Robinson presses him into the ropes. Here we go for the sixth round. Just over a third of the fight gone. It's close. Smashing left hook from Robinson. He's landing the harder punches. His punches are faster. His left jab is more effective. Turpin seems to be waiting all the time. Moving in there. Takes a left hook. And there you can see the speed of Robinson as he flashes away with combination of punches. He's a wonderful stylist. A smooth, smooth as sugar. His real name, of course, is Walker Smith. When he was an amateur, he took the name of Ray Robinson from another amateur. And Robinson flurries at the end of that round. Here we come for the seventh round. Really, Turpin needs to exchange jabs with Robinson. It's his best weapon. But Robinson's flurrying away with those fast punches on the inside. Turpin is still very strong. So we're going to the eighth round. There you can see Turpin moves underneath the jab, but he doesn't throw any punches himself. That right hand just missed, Turpin retaliates, comes back with his left hook. But Robinson's too quick for him. Both men chopping away in the clinch there. And Robinson smiles at Turpin as they tangle up in the middle of the ring. Robinson's looking a little bit tired in this eighth round. Turpin is still fresh and strong as the eighth round ends and here we come for the ninth round.
Both men tangle up in a clinch. Robinson looks at the referee. He's worried about Turpin's head. Now Robinson is dancing on his toes, throwing combinations of punches at Turpin. Turpin is just not quick enough to respond properly. He's outpunched as they get into close quarters. And it's the 10th round, this world middleweight championship fight. Sugar Ray Robinson in white, Randolph Turpin in black. Good flurry of punches from Robinson. Turpin makes him miss. They're tangled up in close quarters. A tremendous right hand from Robinson. That's shaken Turpin. He's in trouble here. You can see his legs have gone. He's holding on desperately. Robinson pushes him into the ropes. Turpin is holding. He's hurt. It's the second time in the fight he's been badly hurt by a Robinson right. The crowd are roaring for Robinson here. Robinson is still on top. Turpin is hurt. He's still not sure. And a right hand. That one cracks open. Turpin's down. He's flat on his back. He's on one knee. His eyes badly swollen there. Robinson traps him on the ropes. He's going for the kill now. Can Turpin survive? Turpin's trying to duck and weave out of the way of these punches, but he's trapped on the ropes, and Robinson won't let him off those ropes. He's smashing away with both hands, holding him and hitting. Turpin's not throwing any punches back. He's got to punch back if he wants to stay in this fight. Robinson's punching to the body to try and bring his arms down. And that left hook and right hand. And referee goes to stop the fight. Turpin is beaten. Sugar Ray Robinson has regained his title in the 10th round. What a fantastic finish. Let's look at the knockout in slow motion. And here's a crashing right from Robinson. Turpin seems to try and hold him and then falls flat on his back. He looks out for the count. How does he beat this count? But there he is, he's on his way up. The count is seven, eight, nine. He's just up before the 10, his knees are off the ground. Robinson comes in for the kill. Traps him on the ropes there. Turpin's desperately trying to hold on, but a right uppercut knocks him backwards and a left hook. Turpin retreats the ropes, but his, his legs are still very wobbly. And here we can see the pulverizing attack from Robinson as he's got Turpin trapped on the ropes. He pours punches in. Left hooks, right hands are all smashing into Turpin's face. Turpin's just trying desperately to defend himself here. He's not throwing any punches back, but these punches are landing, some of them full-bloodedly on his head. As he bends over there, you can see Robinson pull him aside and go for the body to try and get him to straighten up again. And there's the right hand straight through into Turpin's face. He's taking a tremendous pounding on the ropes here. The round's nearly over, but Turpin doesn't know that. The referee doesn't know that. Here's the right hand again. That one knocks Turpin's head back right across the top rope. The left hook follows in. You can see referee Goldstein hovering there. Turpin nearly loses his gum shield. He just bends over. He's out on his feet. Final crushing right to the body. Goldstein's there watching carefully. 
Another right to the kidney area, a left hook, a right uppercut. And here's the left hook that really finishes it. That knocks Turpin's head back. And I think Goldstein decides to go in here as Turpin's head is knocked sideways. He doesn't know where he is. He stops the fight. And Robinson is the champion again. It's all over. Referee stops the bout. The time, two minutes, 52 seconds of the 10th round. The winner and the new 